Hey, good morning. I'm Catherine Wilking. Today we're talking about collecting collections. Now, when does an item get to turn into a collection? Hmm, think about it. Well, two is a pair, three is a group, and four is a starts a collection. Now, how do these collections happen to grow and accumulate in our houses? I'll tell you, it's a mystery. <laughs> Uh, today we're going to talk about three different instances of how your collections can get out of control. The first one is uh, a couple of friends of ours got married years ago and somehow, somehow they ended up with a plush sheep. Okay. I don't know who bought it or who gave it to them or whatever, but ended up on their coffee table for no place to go and it turned into a conversation piece. So every time somebody would come over, they'd pick up the sheep and it would go, bah. Bah. and it was cute and it was funny and it stayed there forever and all of a sudden everybody that came over was going to bring them more sheep things we're talking birthday cards we're talking pillows we're talking carvings we're talking you know prints on the wall like crazy crazy stuff so after a few years that ended up being a sheep house and they realized and counted up how many sheep there was and it was like amazing we had to do something about that and another way of how collections can get out of hand, uh, one of my clients, I went over the, and we were scheduling to move her furniture around. We were going to switch out her living room and dining room area. And uh, her husband would buy her uh, Royal Dalton doll every Christmas and every birthday for like decades. And all of a sudden they had too many. They bought a curio cabinet to hold all these Royal Dalton dolls. And now we're in the process of moving this cabinet. And um, I don't understand that. You can't play with the dolls. You can't take them out and talk to them or anything. And I said to her, do you really like these dolls, do you? And she said yes, but it really wasn't an enthusiastic yes. It was more of a, I guess so, kind of yes. And we had to sit and talk about that, um, where we're going to put the big curio cabinet and whether she wanted it as a focal point in her rearranged living room. And so what happened was we ended up splitting the, the collection. We put a few on the fireplace mantle, three of them, and there was about seven or eight that would fit in another cabinet. And the rest of them we boxed up. It was just too much. So at some point we were going to give them a rest and she could sell them if she wanted to, but it really didn't make sense. It overtook her whole house, her uh, floor space, um, dusting and time. And of course, all the money, the money of those things uh, was all tied up as well, too. So that was interesting. So the third way that these can uh, get uh, out of control is self-inflicted. Okay, my uh, brother-in-law I met many, many years ago, he collects lions. And uh, his last name uh, translates into a lion. So that was probably the catalyst to all this. But over the years in his bachelorhood, he collected little glass uh, lions, great big pictures of lions, plush lions, uh, pictures, prints, stamps, uh, you name it. And um, so when he married my sister-in-law, uh, Ruthie, <laughs> I love Ruthie, they had to come out to some agreement of how they were going to manage this. And they did. They had to sort out a system that would respect both of their wishes. And so it's a beautiful home. Of course, the lions are there, but they don't take over the whole space. And I think uh, respect for other people's collections is really good, but they have to be managed. But, but you know what? Looking into advertising and such, um, the advertisers don't make it easy for it either. They, things like buy the whole set, uh, limited edition, the first on your block, since you bought this item, we thought you'd like this item. You know, that kind of stuff. So it's really, really hard um, not to do that. So I'm trying to just make a comment here. You need boundaries. You need to tell your friends that you are had enough sheep or giraffes or cats or whatever it is that you're collecting. And enough is enough. Please respect that. And of course be smart about your purchases okay uh collecting watches or earrings or um scarves or little things like that don't take up a lot of space but bigger items antique furniture musical instruments cars and whatever they take up a lot more space a lot more maintenance a lot more money to maintain and so be smart about it so here we are 
collecting collections. There's all kinds of ways that can get out of control and I want you to sort that out. Uh, there's a reference to a magazine, The Walrus, this month, September, October of 2021, has an article about the new decor these days. People are hoarding and collecting things and it's got some interesting insight as well too. So stay in touch. I'm Catherine Wilking of Feng Shui Designs and I can get to your homes right now to visit or you can learn more from my website and the classes I have set up there. So you too can have a Feng Shui day. Have a good one.